welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus chapter 25 and we're reading today verses 23 and 25 for our devotional time. You shall make a table of acacia wood, two cubits long and one cubit wide and one and a half cubits high. You shall overlay it with pure gold and make a gold border around it. You shall make for it a rim of a hand breadth around it and you shall make a gold border for the rim around it. So we're going to break this into two mornings and just take this first portion here. And so we're moving on to another item of furniture here. It's actually what we have is that the first item always mentioned is the Ark of the Covenant in the most holy place. The second item that's always mentioned in the furniture of the tabernacle or the sanctuary, the second one always mentioned is the table of showbread. That's kind of interesting. Something else that might be of interest is that there's only two items in all the business whenever they move it. Remember, this is a mobile sanctuary. Uh, this is the only other item besides the Ark of the Covenant that has three coverings arranged for it when it's wrapped for traveling. So this really sort of indicates that the table of showbread would be the second most uh, sanctified, it would be the second most holy item in the whole repertoire of furniture in the sanctuary. At least that would be perhaps a fair inference. Another piece about this is that the shape of this is very similar to the Ark of the Covenant, but it's just a little bit smaller. Two and a half cubits versus two cubits. One and a half cubits versus one cubit. So interesting business here. Also, this is called the bread of presence, and also it's called the bread of display. Lechem panim. Lechem panim. So that means bread and face or display. So interesting, this bread is always out there. It's always laid out. It's always remaining. And in fact, this bread is, is perpetual. It's on throughout the whole week. It's, it's put out there and it's only changed one time a week during the Sabbath, it's changed over. And when it's changed, we infer that, that not all the bread was ever removed at once. Like we might just whip the whole thing off and then put all the new stuff out. This was done, we, we would expect, a one loaf at a time. There's 12 loaves of bread laid out there in two rows and six in each row. And so they would take one out and put a new one in, take one out, put a new one in. So there was always bread, always perpetually, the bread was uh, there in display. The old bread, after being on display for a week, that was taken and eaten by the priest. Interesting here about the table of showbread that it's also associated with the Sabbath. Let me just read to you from Leviticus 24 verses 5 to 9. Then you shall take the flour and bake 12 cakes with it. Two tenths of an ephah shall it be in each cake. You shall set them in two rows, six to a row, on the pure gold table before the Lord. You shall put pure frankincense on each row that it may be a memorial portion for the bread, even an offering by fire to the Lord. Every Sabbath day he shall set it in order before the Lord continually. It is an everlasting covenant for the sons of Israel. It shall be for Aaron and his sons, and they shall eat it in a holy place, for it is most holy to him from the Lord's offerings by fire his portion forever. So the table of showbread is forever associated here with the seventh day Sabbath. Kind of a missing piece for some people, but there it is. And many times the meaning, the symbolic meaning in a lot of these things is not really laid out explicitly. Uh, but if we take the whole Bible into account, one thing we could think uh, perhaps would be this, that, you know, the bread, of course, would represent Jesus. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. This is a very fair uh, symbol. And so if the table's always on, the bread is always on display on the table, this is kind of like in John 14 when Jesus says, if you, you know, don't you know, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. The, the character of the Father was always on display for us kind of up close with Jesus. And so Jesus is always displaying what God the Father is like. There's this connection that, that should be understood between the Holy Spirit, between Jesus, between the Father. And so Jesus is the bread that came down. He said Jesus is the bread that was always on display. He didn't disappear one day a week or anything. Jesus was always doing his Father's work, Sabbath and on throughout the week. So anyway, interesting piece here connecting Jesus with the Sabbath, with the table of showbread, with the sanctuary system or tabernacle system. All right, we'll see you tomorrow morning as we carry on and learn some more about the table of showbread. Thank you.